I can play here. I can play out here. I could even play right here. Can't go swimming though. Swimming's illegal in Massachusetts unless you have a state appointed guardian. The spirit of America. I can even play in here, which obviously doesn't sound that impressive until you realize that I have 12 amps inside my very small uh, studio space. And not only that, I have 12 amps in my hand. This handy little gadget is called the Fender Mustang Micro. I've had it for uh, just about a week now, and I have to say, I absolutely love it. I take it with me everywhere. Uh, I play it all the time. I find excuses to just bring my guitar more places because it's so much fun. And in case you're wondering, no, this is not a sponsored video. I was not paid to make this in any way, shape, or form. Quite the opposite. In fact, I bought this at full retail uh, with my very own money. Now, at first glance, this might not appear to be much, and you'd kind of be right. It's just a chunk of plastic with an input jack, but what's inside is really remarkable. Now, if you're familiar with the Fender Mustang line of amps, like the Mustang GTX, and all the amp modeling effects that, that you can get through that, it's basically that crammed inside this tiny little package. Now, all this is really is the volume knob, um, an on and off switch with a Bluetooth pairing, and then on the side, you have your amps that you cycle through, your EQ, uh, your effects and then a modify button where you can you know change up the intensity of the effects now It's not infinitely adjustable. You know you just cycle through a handful of preset options But even with that you get just such an amazing array of sounds out of it They sound great now thankfully uh, fender includes a color-coded chart inside of the box that the Mustang micro comes in Which is extremely helpful. So as you're cycling through your amps and your effects and your EQ and whatnot uh, the LED light actually changes color, so you can see which corresponding amp you are based on the color of the light. Now, my two personal favorites right now, um, one is the 65 Twin with the compressor, and the other one for like high gain stuff is the Bass Breaker 15 High Gain, and I tend to use the modulated large hall reverb the most. Those are kind of my go-to uh, effects that, that I prefer. Now, rather than just reading through a spec sheet, let me tell you a few of the features that I've found uh, the most enjoyable. The first one is one, just how portable it is that it goes anywhere and you get a ton of great sounds out of it. The second one is that you can stream Bluetooth music into this. So if I wanna grab my phone and just play a backing track, um, it just connects through here and it just plays right into the headphones. And then as I play, I can jam along with my favorite songs um, or just a, you know, a simple backing track off of YouTube. It's really, really simple um, and it works perfectly. Another one is that you can actually record out. And one of my, I know this is kind of nerdy, but one of my favorite aspects of the micro is that it has, it has a USB-C um, output connection rather than some like USB micro or those horrible, I think it's what like the Samsung phones use and all that stuff. I hate those. Um, I never have one, but I have a million USB-C cables. So I can just plug that right into here, just run it straight into my computer, pull up something like, um, you know, if you want to use GarageBand or Logic, I'm going to use Audition here in a second just because then it doesn't go through any other like amp modeling effects or anything like that. It just gets exactly what this sounds like out. Um, but you can record anything you want straight out of this. Um, I like that a lot. And then finally, this is not like listed on any of the, you know, Fender marketing materials like that. But this is fantastic if you want to go into a guitar shop and try guitars. Because all I need to do is just bring this in with a pair of headphones, grab any guitar I want, plug it in, and I can jam on any kind of settings that I want. Um, and no one has to listen to it other than me. But I also know that because I have these certain settings that I like, I can play any guitar through the exact same setting all the time. And that way it sort of gives me a better way to compare what I'm hearing. All right, enough of me, you know, yakking about this thing and why I like it. Let's hear what it sounds like. Oh, real quick, you do have to use wired headphones into the Mustang Micro, which I'm completely fine with. Bluetooth, you know, any amount of latency when you're playing guitar is really, really, really annoying. Uh, so for me, you know, having to plug in headphones, it's fine because you get that immediate response without any delay. So I personally like that. And if you are out and about, it's the only cable that you need. You just plug right into the micro, play, it It sounds works perfectly.
okay, if you're looking for like the most pristine recreation of a tube amp that sounds like Stevie Ray Vaughan, okay, this is not it. But if you've used things like this in the past, like iRig or there was, I forget the name of the cheap one, that just, I don't like using them. They don't sound good. It always sounds tinny and then I gotta plug it in my phone and all this stuff, I hate that. This, I just plug right into my guitar. I can be at a beach in the woods, uh, in my living room while my daughter's listening to the 18,000th uh, playthrough of Bubble Guppies. Like I can just put this on, put on headphones and jam anytime I want. And I really like that. And for 99 bucks, I mean, this is the best one that I've ever, ever used. Um, so I am very happy with this. Now, as always, go play guitar. <laughs>